Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekend What's Cracking. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, if you are interested in having a personal reading with me, uh, a gifting or donating to the channel, all of the above, then everything is in the box below. Um, I do have a couple of openings now within the life coaching program that I've been running. It's been extremely well received and I'm very grateful for that. Um, and if you are interested, you can always email and just sort of ask me anything you need to ask me. But I'm still doing it at the reduced price till Christmas and then I'll be reviewing as to how I continue with that. Um, so email me if you're, if you're interested. Uh, I go live on YouTube now on Wednesdays and Fridays on Instagram at 12pm Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Um, I also do uh, mini reads on Facebook once a month. If you're interested in any of those, whip over to the Aussie Goddess Facebook page. Everything's pinned to the top of the page there so you can find dates and things there. Um, I'm going to use the Modern Spellcasters Tarot for your What's Cracking this morning. And I hope you all have an incredibly wonderful weekend. All right. All right, so we have the card of judgment coming out. That's a nice way to start the reading. I like the judgment card. You know me, I sort of like everything. I don't like the three of swords. That's the only card I'm not fond of. I could drop a card out of the tarot, that would be it. I can never find a redeeming factor. Um, <laughs> even if it's past pain, it's not a good card. Um, the judgment card talks of rebirth. It talks about bringing something back from the dead. It's a revival of something you thought was gone. It's a, an awakening. It's a rebirthing the phoenix. Um, it's a lot of energy around being able to give something another chance, something perhaps that didn't go well in the past. So it might be a chance that again at a new job, you might be revitalizing a business. It may be that you've got an opportunity to restart in a relationship, but it also can mean that you're reviving a relationship or a job or something that you're currently in as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, something new. Sometimes we can inject the energy into something that seemed to be a bit dead, but we're bringing it back to life. Very nice. So we have the Wheel of Fortune here. I'm loving this already. So the Wheel of Fortune is a card that talks there. It talks of karma. It talks about things going full circle. It talks about things now going in your favor. So something here is giving you an opportunity to restart or revitalize something from your past that didn't go in a way that was extremely beneficial, good, healthy. We have the sun. What more can I say? End of reading. <laughs> the sun card is the card of total happiness and joy. It's about sort of... The energy of, I always think when I think of this card, the energy of, you know, being on holidays when you're walking down the beach first thing in the morning and the sand is cold, but the sun is warm on your back. And that feeling of freedom and that feeling of, um, you know, just sort of being able to enjoy things that are really, you know, you've waited to do or things that make you really happy. The Sun card talks about feeling like a child again. It's a, an energy that is bright and fiery and new here. Wow, okay, I can see why now. All right, so you've got someone rushing in here. Um, someone who could be a Libra Gemini or Aquarius. We do have a few different um, energies here because these are all major arcanas. So there's Leo energy. Um, sitting right there. Um, I think that's Pisces energy, but I'll, I'll stand corrected on that one. Um, so the Knight of Swords is an energy of someone rushing in very quickly with the truth. Um, it could be an apology with the sword held high. Something somebody wants to say here or speak up about. Somebody is ready to talk, ready to express. Somebody wants a new start, what can I say? So the Ace of Wands is something that's passionate, something that's driven. Could be the 
a more physical start in a new relationship. It could be moving your relationship to that sort of more physical level or that more passionate energy coming through in a relationship. It could be that you're starting a creative endeavor, a job, a workplace, any of those things that feels to you like your rebirthing passion. There's a lot of passionate energy in that little mini read. A lot of, um, a lot of high octane energy. Some of you are really leveling up here. So maybe you're sort of coming up against something that you've tried before that wasn't really as successful as you'd like it to be. And it's almost like you're giving it another go, but you're putting in 100% this time. There's none of this sort of half-hearted stuff. Very nice. All right, let's see where we're going. We do have the Three of Cups coming through. So the Three of Cups for some people can mean uh, a reunion. It talks of family reunions, bringing people back to celebrate, um, and certainly sort of giving people the opportunity to celebrate a particular occasion. So maybe with this rebirth, some of you are moving your relationships into something more serious, like marriage, engagement, moving in together. Um, and there's also this feeling of sort of, you know, bringing others in to celebrate your achievements. The Three of Cups has a lot of meanings for me, but we'll see how we go with this, with this energy. All right. Well, we have the Ten of Cups here. So that's really nice, really nice energy. Again, like the Sun card, this is about happiness, joy, um, you know, really being able to experience something very beautiful here. Happy families, happy occasions. All happy cards so far. Oh, wow. Okay, so some of you stepping into your Empress energy this sort of feeling that you're starting to embrace your feminine. Maybe you've been really working at leveling yourself up and that's why you're being given a new opportunity or another opportunity. Sometimes when we step into the Empress energy, we're stepping into the energy of rebirth with her too, bringing in something new, allowing this new energy to come through. Libra Taurus energy here as well. Okay, and then here we have the Nine of Swords, always. <laughs> You're always thinking, the energy is amazing here. Why is there this level of anxiety, this level of um, frustration, this level of wanting to sort of let go of something? What is it that you're rebirthing or bringing back that you're anxious about? Is it that you feel that you're being given another opportunity and you do not want to get it wrong this time? Is it that you're being given another opportunity and you're not really sure if it's what you want? Maybe you've manifested something in and now you're not really sure if it's the direction you want to go in. Very interesting. I'll get some clarification. Oh, okay. Five of Swords coming through here with the Seven of Pentacles. And the Three of Swords, you don't want to get hurt again. Okay, that makes a whole lot of sense here. So it seems to me there's some sort of energy that in the past something did not go well. Something did not go as planned. And you're being given this opportunity of complete and utter happiness coming around again for you. But your fears here of getting hurt again or getting... Um, not getting what you feel that you want this time. There's a lot of energy of swords here. And I would say to you, there's a, a strong energy of needing to be very, very clear with communication, speaking up, um, not allowing others to, to dictate to you what something should be all about, right? really standing in your power with this Empress energy. But something here is creating some sort of energy of past pain as well. So it's sort of like you feel a little bit like you're going around in a cycle here. I feel really strongly that whatever this is here, you've manifested it back again for good reason. Either it has to be closed down and finished up or you're getting an opportunity to put something where it needs to be. 
but this very strong energy that it's creating anxiety. And I feel like for some of you, you're now realizing it maybe not have been what you wanted. Wow, okay, so we have the Hierophant coming through with the Queen of Wands. There's almost this energy that you, <laughs> some of you maybe, somebody's coming in to offer you marriage, commitment. And now I feel like you're not really sure if you want it. Maybe you thought when it went round the first time, whatever this is for you, when it went round the first time and you missed out, somehow or another you've glorified this. You've made it so much more important to you and now it's coming back. It's like, is this what I really wanted now or have I outgrown this in the time it hasn't been there? Because you're really standing in your power, especially with the Empress and the Queen of Wands here. And I think you've wanted this. This is something you've wanted and manifested. This idea of having something stable, long term and happiness. But now it's sort of flipping around and you're, you're just not really sure that you want to invest in this again because your fear of getting hurt. Oh, goodness gracious. There's love here. Really strong love. But there's this energy of not wanting to move forward because of fear of pain. All right, let's just have a look at it. I might put some more cards on this one. There's a rebirth of something here. Something that's come around again because it didn't work out the first time. You're being given an opportunity to change that. There is a lot of happiness and joy in this occasion. Someone is rushing in here with a brand new offer. Ah, okay, let's just have a look under there. Oh, wow, okay, so it is someone that has a... <coughs> oh, excuse me. It is someone that's very uh, powerful in your life. Someone you feel is extremely powerful to you. Someone who's coming in to offer you love here. But I feel like this offer comes with perhaps this stability, long-term security, and, and it sort of feels to me now with these energies here, you're not really sure if this is what you wanted. I feel like because you've stood in your power here, it's you've probably found a lot of, a lot of love and happiness yourself without this being here. And now you're questioning, you know, do I go this alone or do I sort of put myself through something again that might create heartbreak. Now, I'm feeling here very strongly, whoever this person is here. There's a very strong feeling that they are really committed to this, okay? They're really committed to you. They're really committed to the love. They are really committed to the energies coming through here. And I feel like you're overthinking this. You're overthinking, you're overanalyzing, you're in your logical brain. And that's sort of... A little bit different for you because you look like you've been working yourself into the 5D. So you've sort of got out of the energy of overthinking. But some of you are really overthinking this offer. Wondering if it can work. All right, let's just take some cards at random. All right, so we have the King of Swords coming through here. With the King of Wands. And the Three of Wands here. I feel like your person has really done a lot of work on themselves. I feel that they are now standing in their own power. I feel that they are really understanding their own personal journey here. They've become much more attuned with the universe. And I feel like this, this person has really seen a truth. They've really understood what went wrong in the past, they are really willing to put in 100% this time because they do see this future here. They do see something in the future. They've seen things from a much higher perspective here. So they've stood above it and looked down at it and they know that now they can make this work. So I think your fears are unfounded here. I don't think that um, what you're thinking here is relevant. I think you're going through your past pain and seeing, seeing this energy through the eyes of past pain. Let's get a Moonology card. All right. 
might have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. Don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. As they say in the self-help classics, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. However, the Waxing Crescent Moon card is a reminder that you must still keep working toward whatever it is that you want. If you can't take practical steps, spend time meditating on the question you're asking about and allow your higher self to download information to you about what is your next step. Overall, this card suggests there's every reason to be hopeful for a very positive outcome for the situation you're asking about. So keep the faith. Attuned to the moon, I am focused on what I want. Additional meanings, just because you can't see your dreams, it doesn't mean they're not manifesting. Don't look back, stay focused on moving forward. Be patient as events unfold. Dig a little deeper to find more courage. This is really about pursuing your dreams. This is about knowing that they are there and you're manifesting them, but maybe they're not quite ready to come forward yet. I do love that we've got a butterfly though. <laughs> That's made my day. That's my sign. Have a good one.